Hey guys, this is Gary from Demigods Music Production Hub and today I've got a very quick, simple and useful technique on how to compare your finished track against a commercial master. So when you get to the mixing and mastering stage of the track that you're working on, it's, it's really, really helpful to compare that against a commercial release. Comparing things like the audio quality, EQing, compression and general volume levels. And I'm going to show you how to do it using just one key on the keyboard to switch seamlessly between the two tracks so you, there's no messing around loading up iTunes and things like that. It's very quick, very handy. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, so here you can see I've got my draft track on track one and a finished master on track two. So this is what I'm working on at the moment and this is the one that I want to get the audio quality to sound as good as. And I want to be able to switch between the two really quickly to hear the differences and try and improve the first one to be as good and as loud and as close to a commercial release as this one here. Right, so first of all, the thing that I've pre-prepared is that I've set a four bar loop on each and they're warped to be the same time signature. So the four bar loop on this one, double click, and then there's a four bar loop on this one too. So just to check that they're in time, first of all, I'm going to select my first one. Just press play here. Check with the metronome. Yep, no probs. Stopping that one. Play on the second one. So they're nicely lined up. And it's worth checking that and making sure so that when you seamlessly go between the two, it doesn't mess with your ears because it's all out of time and sounds weird. So that's all set up and ready to go. Closing this down, the next thing to do is to make sure that this second track, the mastered finished one that you want to compare it against, doesn't include anything that you might have on the master channel when you hear it, and it will be affected by that. So if you look at my master channel here, you see I've got simple EQ, compressor and limiter, because these are the things that I want to change about my original first track here uh, that, that's almost certainly already been done to the master. So in order to get around that, I'm going to change the audio output uh, to external out on this second track. And that way it just bypasses the master channel so that we get the pure sound of this one. Here's the tip. We want to open the crossfade down here, this little X, and we're going to click on A for the first track and B for the second track. Now normally to go between the two tracks you just hold, click and hold the triangle and you can slide between. Now that's all very well and good for DJing where you mix one track into another. But we want to very quickly hard pan left and right so that we get just this track playing or just this, track, this track playing. Okay, And in order to do that we click on the crossfade area down here, command K on the keyboard. This opens up the key mapping section and then you want to press a key any one that you like that's going to determine uh, whether you're playing A or, or B. So I'm just going to use this forward slash for now. And that's all you do. So I've just pressed that once. And then we can just press escape on the keyboard again to come out of it. And now as you, if you look down here, every time I press my pre-selected button, it's going to flip hard left, hard right. So it's just going to switch between A and B. So let's just check that's working OK. Let's put it on to A. So this is my first track. In fact, I'm going to stop that there. What we want to do is have them both playing together. Now obviously we're, as this is selected to the left, it's, we're only going to hear after the first one. But now that they're, they're both playing in time together. So here we go, forward slash to the next one. And now I can really quickly go between the two seamlessly. So I can hear that my uh, this track here needs some more warmth. So I might drop down a bit of the highs, increase some of the low end. Let's see how that compares now. Yeah, a lot closer. And then obviously I can make all the other changes I need to as necessary to get my track up to scratch to the commercial release master over here. So there we go. A very quick, very easy way of comparing your track that you're working on to a commercial release using Command-K and key mapping 
any key on your keyboard to the crossfade section down here so that you can switch just using one key very quickly between the two. There you go, hope you found that useful. Please give us a thumbs up if you did and leave a comment if there's anything else you'd like me to help you with. I look forward to chatting next time. Take care guys. Mm -hmm.